this block, the scene as a whole, um, played a major role in Devon's upbringing and who he was and who he is and uh, where his legacy will continue to go. A street will now forever bear the name of Devon Pickett Jr. I can just feel my brother right now, like, stop playing. Stop playing, huh? So I can just hear it. He's just happy, and I'm just glad, like, all my family's here, all of us together. We have three children, so every morning I see Devon in their face. Every day I'm reminded that he's still here in his legacy. Devon's loved ones celebrating, but also grieving. His mother, a representation of those emotions. Today, uh, it's, it's a good day for me, but it's, it's a sad day for me. Devon was shot and killed last October outside of his business. The man accused, a former friend charged with first degree murder. That tragic and traumatic death compounding the impact of gun violence this family has already felt. Gun violence killed my cousin, Devon Pickett Sr. Gun violence killed my cousin, Devon Pickett Jr. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that. We got to protect our community. Do you understand? We have to protect our community. This memorial a new chapter in the grieving process for Devon's family. I'm so proud, I'm so proud. I just wish my baby was here with us to celebrate. Devon's family says they are continuing his legacy. The business he started with his wife, the postman is still going strong. And eventually they would like to get this whole entire street named after him. Live in the Central District, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.